Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect your Facebook Pixel to your WordPress website in 2023. Facebook Pixel is a powerful tool uh, that allows you to track and optimize your Facebook ad campaigns. By integrating Facebook Pixel with your WordPress website, you can gain valuable insights into your customer behavior and improve your advertising effectiveness. So in this tutorial, you will guide you through the steps of connecting your Facebook Pixel with WordPress site. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, let's start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser. And of course, in your case, you can use any other browser that you could possibly have or you prefer. Once you open that browser, go to this URL section, simply type Facebook pixel and hit the enter button then make sure to go to this first link once you are here if you have a facebook pixel account or ads facebook ads account you'll have to go log in into this account as you can see i'm already logged in into my account here but uh, i'll simply have to click on start now but if you don't have an account you can always go and click on get started and of course you'll have to go and create for yourself or a facebook pixel account once you have it, of course, you'll have to simply uh, navigate to your events manager, then click on connect data source and select web, then choose Facebook pixel and follow the prompt to create your pixel and make sure to copy the pixel ID provided. Then make sure to install Facebook pixel on your WordPress. There are several meth methods to install like Facebook pixel on your WordPress website. One common method is using a plugin in your WordPress admin dashboard. So for me, I'm just going to connect into my local host and for you of course if you have a wordpress website you can simply go again and log in into your website if you don't you can always go and create a new account for yourself so as you can see here uh, for me i already logged into my account so i don't even have to log in into my account or anything but for you you'll have to go and log in into your account you have an account but if you don't go and click on get started again and create an account is going to be pretty simple but of course, you'll have to go and get a plan for yourself. So the plan is very necessarily, especially in WordPress. So you can have a, a local host or you can have the access to your admin dashboard. Without it, you will not be able to have that access. So now, at the moment, let's just wait for my local host until it's uh, go on. And normally, you'll have to simply go to your plugin. So as you can see here in this account, you will need to upgrade to a business plan to install plugin and get a free domain with the annual plan. So if I click here, upgrade to business, then I'll be able to add this plugin. Of course, for me, I already have the account here logged in into it. So simply I'll go to plugins here and click on add new and simply I'll in your my WordPress admin dashboard here. Once I go to plugins and click on add new, I'll be able to search for a plugin called Facebook pixel here on the search plugin. Simply type Facebook pixel and hit the enter button once you do so this should take just um, maybe five seconds and as you can see you will find here the search of it and of course as you can see you'll find a, like a lot of apps or plugins that you can use you can always go and try it first as you can see you can try this uh, track google analytics uh, for google pixel or welcome uh, facebook for WooCommerce or meta pixel for wordpress for us we will need this first one so simply go and click on install it you can even go and try it first or you can see more details about us if you click here it's more details and as you can see you'll be able to read here everything that you may be interested of so for me as you can see what's installed you'll have to go and activate it so what's installed and activated, of course, you will have to go and navigate to the plugin settings and enter your Facebook ID pixel that you get from your ads manager here. Then to enhance the accuracy of your Facebook pixel tracking, you can enable enhanced match on your WordPress website. And of course, this feature allows Facebook to match customers data with Facebook profiles and the plugin settings of Facebook pixel a plugin you installed look for an option to enable enhanced match toggle it on and save your settings so now you can always go to installed plugins here and what i recently installed was this one so simply go to to configuration here and do all that i said of course you can even go and enable uh, the auto updates so you will not have any uh, problem in the future with it 
So at the moment, as you can see, you'll have to simply connect to your Google Tag Manager, and then you can even go and add some other integrations if you want to. You can even go to Pixel Settings from here if you click on it, and you'll be able to connect whatever you want. So once you do so, of course, you'll be able to like configure the Sun Products Feed Manager and Products Mapping and uh, Manager Feed. And of course, this plugin will require from you an upgrade if you want more features, as you can see. So if you want um, better campaign performance to scale your business faster, you'll need to upgrade. It has 15 days money back guaranteed, 100% free, no question asked. And of course, here you'll find the, normally the report and insights. So you, if you want to, of course, view all your reports uh, to scale your business faster, you will have to go and upgrade now. Once you do all of this, once you even enhance uh, or enable the enhanced match on your settings and connects your always uh, your uh, Google Pixel, uh, sorry, Facebook Pixel and everything, it's essential to test and verify that your Google or sorry, I keep saying Google. So your Facebook Pixel is correctly installed on your WordPress uh, website. To do this, you can open your website and a new browser tab and navigate to various pages, such as products pages or checkout pages, then go back to your Facebook Ads Manager to check uh, and navigate, of course, to the Event Manager and click on the test event and follow the prompt to simulate different events. Verify that the events are detected in your Facebook Pixel. Then, of course, make sure to create some customer or sorry, some custom conversation and audiences. So with the Facebook Pixel connected to your WordPress website, you can now leverage its powerful feature. You can use the Facebook ads to ma manager to create custom conversations based on your specific uh, event, such as add uh, to cart or purchase. And this will allow you to track and optimize your advertising campaign more effectively. You can also create a customer audience based on Pixel events to target the new ad specific segment of your audience. Then you'll be able even to track and optimize the Facebook ad campaign. So as you start running, a Facebook ad campaign regularly uh, monitor the performance of your campaign using the data from your Facebook pixel. Use the insights to optimize your ad targeting creative and the bud and budget to improve your return on ad spent. Experiment with different strategies and continuously analyze the results to refine your Facebook advertising efforts. So if you reach this point of this video, congratulations, you've successfully connected your Facebook pixel to your WordPress website in 2023. By integrating this too powerful platform, you can gain valuable insights into your customer's behavior and improve the effectiveness of your Facebook ad campaign. Remember to regularly monitor and optimize your campaigns using the data from your Facebook pixel to achieve better results. So thank you for watching and best of luck with your WordPress sites and Facebook advertising. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe for our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one. And I'll see you in the next video.